Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Captain Lu has arrived. A voice came from behind. Lu Xi almost turned around with the quickest reaction since birth. Long Haochen walked in with his arm around Chai Er's waist. In his clear golden eyes, there was also the burning flame of excitement. Captain Long. Uttering these three words, Lu Xi suddenly felt as if something was choking his throat and he couldn't continue speaking. Long Haochen chuckled and said, All right, don't say anything for now. Let me distribute the merits to you first, before I regret it later. Come. As he spoke, he rolled up the sleeve of his left arm. Under the gazes of the other ten members of the two demon hunting squads, Lu Xi walked to Long Haochen with trembling legs, tears uncontrollably streaming down. Hao Chen, I won't say much more. From now on, wherever you need us, our soldier level number four demon hunting squad will be at your disposal with our six lives. Long Hao Chen grabbed his left arm and pressed their merit token together. We're comrades, brothers in arms. But after this, I won't dare to take on such unreliable missions anymore. After the swift transfer of merits, soldier level number four demon hunting squad suddenly had an additional 60,000 merits. Lu Xi wiped away his tears with his sleeve. Hao Chen, I feel like splurging right now. How about we all go to the trading center and see, on the first and second floors? We can consider ourselves wealthy. Long Haochen smiled and said, Sure, we also need to buy some things for replenishment. And we can sell some things that are not useful anymore. Let's go together then. Just then, suddenly, a somewhat strange voice sounded. Wait, I have something to say. The one who suddenly spoke up was Lin Sin, who had been keeping his head down. He slowly stood up, wiped away the drool at the corner of his mouth with his sleeve, then combed his dark green long hair that hung in front of him with both hands and walked slowly to the back. His steps seemed somewhat heavy, and his face was unusually solemn, with a hint of sorrow and indignation in his gaze. Everyone's gaze converged on him as if coordinated, there had been no previous signs of this, and nobody knew what he was about to do, but just by looking at his expression, it seemed like something big was happening. Lin Sin walked all the way to where Li Sin stood, then stopped, but he was facing Long Haochen. Lin Sin, what's wrong with you? Long Haochen asked in confusion. Lin Sin said with a deep voice. I have something to say before we go to the trading center. This matter is very important to me. Please bear witness, both captains and everyone. Long Haochen's heart stirred slightly, seeming to have an idea, but unable to be certain. He just nodded slightly towards him. Go ahead. Lin Sin pursed his lips, then suddenly turned to face Li Sin, his movement swift, coupled with a sharp gaze, and the attention of everyone due to his flowing emerald green hair, startled Li Sin, causing her to take a step back, and she said irritably, what are you up to? Lin Sin, encouraged by Li Sin's step back, seemed to gain courage. And he suddenly took a step forward, grabbing Li Sin's right hand, and resolutely said in a deep voice, I've thought it through, I've been suppressing myself for days, and after coming back, I've finally figured it out. You must take responsibility for me, you must. Li Sin was indeed taken aback by his sudden assertive behavior, and with so many people around watching, she tried to pull her hand back, but Lin Sin held it tightly. What are you doing? Let go, what do I have to take responsibility for to you? Li Sin said, a mixture of shyness and embarrassment. Lin Sin suddenly widened his eyes, the previous sense of sadness and indignation still present in his eyes. What? You're not going to acknowledge it now that you've done it? That was my first time, how could you do this? Both captains and fellow companions, you have to stand up for me. While saying this, this guy took advantage of the situation and took a step forward, firmly embracing Li Sin's slender waist. Li Sin's figure was quite tall, while Lin Sin was almost the same height as her, if it were someone else, and especially if they were prepared, she wouldn't allow someone to get close. But in these days, Li Sin's heart had also undergone some changes, coupled with Lin Sin's sudden actions. This guy couldn't be described as shameless anymore. Instead, he had caught Li Sin off guard and hugged her. All the members of the two demon hunting squads were suddenly shocked. What was happening? What first time? Everyone's mind was in a bit of chaos. Only Long Hao Chen had a slight understanding of the truth, but he could only smile and shake his head, Lin Sin had thought things through, but his actions were a bit too much. Li Sin's days was short-lived, and she quickly snapped out of it. After all, she was a retribution knight. Her strength was far beyond what Lin Sin could match. With a swift movement of her arms, she pushed Lin Sin away. Her face flushed red, and she said angrily, You, you're talking nonsense. What do you mean by your first time, comma, you play Bokarit? Would it even be a first time? It's obviously my first time. Li Sin's explanation made Long Haochen immediately raise his hand to cover his eyes. Her explanation... As expected, everyone's gaze instantly became even more shocked, and they all unconsciously took a step back, leaving the center spot to the two of them. For Li Sin, 
This was an unexpected attack, but Lin Sin was prepared in advance. He continued without missing a beat, standing up straight with righteousness. Who? Said I'm fickle? Have you seen it? Have you ever witnessed my fickleness? I'm an honest person, a pure and handsome young man, an honest and reliable young man. All right, since it's also your first time, I'll take responsibility for you then. Is that acceptable? But, you big goof. Li Sin was a mixture of embarrassment and anger, and she lifted her foot to kick at Lin Sin. She didn't use any skills or magic, it was just a regular human-like kick. If Lin Sin wanted to dodge, he could easily avoid it. However, Lin Sin turned around directly, and used his own rear end to meet the kick, and then let out a resounding scream, crashing into a nearby sofa. Ouch, that hurts so much. Li Sin was about to follow up and give Lin Sin another hit. But she sensed the change in the atmosphere inside the villa, she looked at everyone, and saw their odd and astonished expressions. Her pretty face immediately turned as red as her rose unicorn. It's not what you all are thinking, we, we didn't. At this point, Lin Sin had also managed to climb back up from the sofa, and the righteous expression on his face had vanished, replaced by sincerity. Physical contact is affection, scolding is love, in the heat of the moment, I used my foot. It's okay, I can endure it, what can you endure, I'll kill you. Li Sin, embarrassed and frustrated, turned her wrist, drawing a heavy sword from behind her, and pointed it directly at Lin Sin. Those standing beside Long Haochen, from the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad were about to intervene, but Long Haochen raised his hand to stop them. Long Haochen understood his sister too well, in this situation, she wouldn't actually hurt anyone. He also wanted to see what Lin Sin was up to, his earlier words weren't meant to convince Li Sin, they were clearly meant to embarrass her. Long Haochen understood Lin Sin just as well, although he could be a bit arrogant at times. And a bit narcissistic, his heart was quite pure, not like his outward appearance. His current actions were quite telling, he must have mustered a lot of courage. Lin Sin closed his eyes. Come on, if you can bring yourself to do it, then go ahead and kill me, you. Li Sin felt a bit panicked under everyone's gaze, she had no idea how she felt right now, she just felt that this guy in front of her was too despicable. How was she supposed to face people in the future? But, could she really thrust this sword? Obviously, the answer is negative. Even if there hadn't been any ambiguity between her and Lin Sin before, she still wouldn't be able to do this. Clang. A sound. Li Sin forcefully slammed the heavy sword in her hand onto the ground, and turned to run outside. Long Haochen quickly blocked Li Sin and said, Sister, Li Sin angrily said, What? You want to gang up with him and bully me too? Long Haochen shook his head seriously and said, Of course not. You are my sister, even though we aren't related by blood, I've always treated you as my own sister. I had no idea about what Lin Sin said or did before. But the way he treated you just now, if he doesn't explain himself, I, as your younger brother, won't let him off easily. Long Haochen's words were resolute, and carried a hint of anger, at least on the surface. Hearing him say this, Li Sin's expression eased up a lot. Finally, someone was speaking up for her, and Long Haochen's eyes were sincere. Without any weirdness, suddenly turning around, Li Sin's eyes were slightly reddened. All right, I won't leave, Lin Sin, explain yourself. What do you mean? Lin Sin took a few steps forward and stood there. He seemed a bit uneasy at the moment. Li Sin, I'm sorry, I know that what I did just now must have embarrassed you. But these days, you've been ignoring me. I didn't know how to talk to you sincerely. Now, in front of everyone, I must speak my mind. At this point, his face no longer held the pretentious expression from before. Eyes are the windows to the soul. While saying these words, his face also turned a bit red. His eyes held not only a touch of anxiety, but also excitement. Li Sin suddenly realized, she couldn't quite meet his gaze, she slightly turned her head and said, Go on. Lin Sin's gaze swept over the people around him and said, First, let me clarify our conversation just now might have been misunderstood by everyone. It's not what everyone thinks it is. Remember the time outside the cave of fearful wailing? That time, Li Sin scolded me because I couldn't attack. Later, everyone helped me explain. Li Sin felt like she owed me something. Later, in the valley where we rested, she said she wanted to repay me for something. And then, she kissed me forcefully. It was her first kiss, I swear by the heavens, that it was also my first kiss. Lin Sin said seriously, to the point where everyone wanted to laugh but hesitated. Li Sin's pretty face turned red again. But this time, she couldn't refute Lin Sin, because what he said was all true there. Was no exaggeration. Anyone's first time should be the most memorable, and so was mine. After that time, I started to feel different inside. I vaguely knew, that feeling should be liking someone. But I didn't know the extent of this liking. Every day, I struggled with my feelings. But I am indeed timid. I don't have the courage to talk to you. I'm afraid of being rejected by you. And I'm not sure, if my liking for you is romantic love. While saying this, he took two steps forward again. At this moment, he was less than two meters away from Lee Sin. Lin Sin's breath became noticeably rapid, and his face turned even redder. His previous actions, made Lee Sin blush and embarrassed, but equally, as the instigator of all this, how could he not feel the pressure? 
We finally returned. Finally, we're safe. Everyone can relax now. After completing the mission, our two demon hunting squads will go their separate ways. We've also earned a lot of merit together. But despite my excitement over the achievements, there's always been a heavy feeling. I suddenly realized that not seeing you every day actually causes me pain, makes me miss you. Not being able to see your face leaves me with an indescribable sense of melancholy. It's only now that I realize I truly am taking another step forward. He's now in front of Lee Sin, slowly raising his hands, gripping Lee Sin's shoulders, staring into her eyes. I've truly fallen in love with you. Hearing these words, Lee Sin's whole body trembled violently. Her face held only shyness, no anger. I don't want to endure this anymore. Secretly loving is truly too painful. Revealing my feelings to you has at least a 50% chance of success. So, I chose now. Because, perhaps not long from now, our two demon hunting squads will each carry out their own missions, maybe in the future. Wanting to see you again will become as difficult as reaching the heavens, or perhaps, in the next mission, we won't be able to come back here. I don't want to face potential death with regrets. I'm sorry for the troubles I've caused you, but I truly mean it. I hope you can give me a chance. While saying this, Lin Sin's hands on Li Sin's shoulders slowly slid down, then he held her hands simultaneously. He kneeled in front of Li Sin, a strong aura of fire elements surged at this moment, forming quietly behind Lin Sin, blooming roses as dazzling and splendid as carved rubies. Li Sin was completely stunned. At this moment, her mind was even blank. She's already in her twenties this year. If she were an ordinary girl, she might have been married and had children by now. But she had never experienced being in a relationship with a man before. In her teens, she and her friends once had a crush on a guy. But that guy didn't choose her in the end. And now, the Lin Sin kneeling in front of her now was even more earnest than that guy back then. For a moment, Li Sin's heart was in chaos. Over these days, Lin Sin had been struggling internally. But so had she. Among Lin Sin's words just now, what moved her most was, the line about not wanting to face potential death with regrets. No one else spoke, at Long Chen's signal. They quietly left the villa, leaving the space completely to the two of them, gently closing the door behind them. Lin Sin knelt there, even though the fire element surged behind him, forming blossoming fiery red roses. His hands were very cold, and he was even sweating profusely. I'm older than you. Li Sin hesitated for a moment, then suddenly said this. Lin Bo hastened to say, No worries, age is just a number. A woman at thirty is like a tiger in the forest. You're not much older than me, not even close to five years old. Li Sin laughed and scolded. Who's your tiger? Get lost. While saying this, she grabbed Lin Sin's hands and pulled him up. Lin Sin was overjoyed. You, you agreed? Li Sin hummed. I didn't agree, mind you. While saying this, she glanced at the fiery red roses around them. There's no sincerity at all. After saying this, she suddenly pushed Lin Sin away. Turned around and walked out. The flames of the roses turned into faint red lights and disappeared into the air. Lin Sin was initially stunned, then he clenched his right fist, gave it a forceful swing, swung his dark green long hair behind him. It worked. Wow ha! Li Sin walked out of the villa, naturally attracting the attention of everyone again, she said with some annoyance. What are you looking at? You and that annoying guy are all in the same group. I'm going back to rest. You guys can go to the trading center yourselves. After speaking, she ran away as if flying. Long Houchen exchanged a puzzled look with Lu Shi, muttering, he said. Did it work or not? Lu Shi grinned and said. Clearly, it's looking good. Captain Long, you don't have my experience in this. He was about to continue, but then he noticed Chai Er and Long Houchen's arms, so he couldn't continue his sentence. At this moment, Lin Sin also came out from inside. Seeing the joy on his face, his confident and proud appearance, everyone understood that the two of them were practically a couple. Shima Sien grabbed Lin Sin enviously. Brother Medicinal Pills. Treat us. Han Yu joined in from the other side. A feast would be great. Lin Sin laughed heartily. Sure, how about I treat you guys to some medicine? Go to hell. Long Houchen gave Lin Sin a deep look, but didn't say anything. However, his expression had already conveyed a lot to Lin Sin. Let's go, to the trading center. I want to buy a gift for Sin Air. Lin Sin strode quickly towards the outside. Chen Yin Air made a playful face. You're shameless. Did she really agree to it? Always calling her Sin Air, Sin Air. Lin Sin turned back, proudly saying. Why wouldn't she agree? I'm really sincere. Sin Air is my life from now on, even more important than my own life. Long Houchen passed by Lin Sin. Let's go, to the trading center. The members of soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad didn't say anything for them. It would be a good thing if Li Sin and Lin Sin were together. After all, it would greatly strengthen the relationship between the two demon hunting squads. The strength of Long Houchen's group, the members of soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad were already well aware of and from the process of this mission, the two sides had gone through some cooperation. And they had gained significant benefits. If they could continue to cooperate in future missions, it would be highly advantageous for the growth of soldier level number four demon hunting squad. Clearly, it would be very beneficial. 
The demon hunting squad trading center wasn't very bustling. Though there were many items here, the number of people buying and selling wasn't high. After all, there were only around 200 demon hunting squads in the entire Temple Alliance. Many were out on missions, only a few were left here for rest. Those who could set up stalls here had to be demon hunters, either that or staff from the trading center itself. At this moment, at the entrance of the demon hunting squad trading center, there were several men and women who appeared to be around 30 years old, engaged in casual conversation. Lao Wu, we're only lacking 10,000 merits to advance to the general rank. The leader is in seclusion for cultivation. During this time, we can't take on missions either. How about selling some equipment to gather those 10,000 points? One of them, slender in build, spoke while dressed in a wind element mage robe. The person he addressed as Lao Wu was a robust man. Muscular and robust, standing over two meters tall, broad shoulders, wearing warrior attire, his muscles were taut all over. However, he had oddly slender and small eyes. They occasionally gleamed with intelligence. It's not that easy. That's an entire 10,000 merits. The leader specifically instructed me before going into seclusion that if we come across good equipment or items, I should consider purchasing them. Everyone is eager to advance to the general rank. But how many items do we need to sell to get over 10,000 points? It would surely weaken our overall strength. And even if we reach the general rank, how will we complete missions with reduced strength? Lao San, stop suggesting bad ideas. There were three of them in total, and there was also a woman among them. She was dressed in the distinctive robes of a summoner. She smiled faintly and said, It's not like there's no chance at all. If we advance to the general rank soon, our strength will significantly increase. Our ten newly formed demon hunting squads from five years ago, only six of them are still around now. The other five have already advanced to the general rank, leaving only us. The muscular warrior. Addressed as Lao San muttered softly. Lu Mei, do you have a solution? The woman had an average appearance, but her eyes were exceptionally sharp. She whispered, of course there's a solution. Do you all remember what happened half a year after we became a newly formed demon hunting squad? If not for that incident, why would we still not have advanced to the general rank by now? We're not any worse than others. Lao Wu said irritably. Don't bring that up. It was that tricky fellow who acted like a pig to eat a tiger, who deceived us and took our points. It was my fault that time, I was impulsive. Not only were our points stolen, my state of mind was affected as well, and I'm still stuck at the bottleneck of the sixth rank. I've been unable to break through. The woman referred to as Lao Lu said. At that time, the demon hunting squad that deceived us said. It was a lesson for us to be down to earth. We complained to the Alliance, but the response was the same. Since the Alliance doesn't care, let's do the same. Can't we do the same? Lao Wu's eyes lit up. You mean? The woman nodded and said. The new batch of demon hunting squads has officially begun their missions. I've heard that a few squads have already completed their missions recently. Maybe we'll have a chance. As long as we accumulate enough merits, and you make one. Last effort to break through the sixth rank, once our leader comes out of seclusion, we can immediately advance to the general rank. Lao San furrowed his brow and said, Isn't this a bit inappropriate? Treating others as you'd like to be treated, how are we any different from those guys back then? The woman smiled faintly and said, Third brother, you're not right about that. This isn't a bad thing either. After that setback, we've been very cautious during missions. Don't forget, those demon hunting squads that suffered casualties and were eliminated were not worse off than us. But we are the ones who persisted. So, what we're doing is actually a good thing. Lao Wu laughed and said. That's right, Lu Mei is correct. What we're doing is indeed a good thing. We're helping the new demon hunting squads improve their mindset. However, Lu Mei, where can we find the new demon hunting squads? The woman gestured in a direction and chuckled softly. Look, aren't they coming this way? Lao Wu looked up and saw, indeed, there were more than ten people heading towards the trading center. There was no need for other methods to identify them. Their age alone indicated everything. The young man and woman at the front seemed to be not even twenty years old, and the young man had his arm around the girl. Fifth. Brother, it's time to make amends. Treat these newcomers the way those people treated us back then. Lao Wu's eyes brightened and he said, All right, I'll go. Just wait for my good news. As he spoke, Lao Wu walked confidently towards the group of young men and women. The ones being targeted were none other than the Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad and the Soldier Level No. 4 Demon Hunting Squad. Long Houchen and his companions were about to reach the trading center when, suddenly, a burly man blocked their path. Young brother, hello, you're a newly formed demon hunting squad, right? Lao Wu halted Long Houchen and said with a friendly smile. Long Houchen subconsciously nodded. Although they were already a commander level, he still nodded in agreement. As a commander level, it wasn't wrong to refer to them as a newly formed demon hunting squad. Lao Wu smiled and said, That's right. You see, the task tower sent me to find you. They have an internal task to release to your demon hunting squad. Hello, senior. We just returned from a mission. Why are they assigning another task to us so soon? Long Hao Chen asked with confusion. Lao Wu chuckled and said, 
Don't worry, it seems you've encountered quite a bit of trouble during your missions. But rest assured, this task has no danger. It's an internal task, it's also an assessment for your newly formed demon hunting squad. Both demon hunting squads stopped, and regarding Lao Wu's words, they were all somewhat skeptical. However, not just anyone could come to the demon hunting squad trading center. The trading center, the task tower, and the residences of the demon hunting squads were all located in the same area. There were powerhouses guarding the area, and entering without the identity of a demon hunter was not easy. While Lao Wu spoke, he pulled up the sleeve of his left arm, revealing the merit. Badge inside. This is my merit badge. I'm a warrior of the commander level number 8 demon hunting squad. You can call me Lao Wu, like everyone else. Seeing the merit badge, Long Haochen and his companion's skepticism lessened. Everyone is demon hunters, and everyone shared a certain camaraderie. The badge served as proof of his identity. Senior, what kind of mission did the mission tower issue to us? Long Haochen asked, Lao Wu replied. The task is quite simple. Your task is to challenge me. Given your outstanding performance during your missions, the task tower has assigned an internal task. It could also be considered a reward task. If you manage to complete it, you'll earn a significant amount of merits. You can use your own merits as a wager. Choose one person among you to challenge me, and if you win, you'll receive ten times the merits. After listening to his explanation, Long Haochen's companions were eager to give it a try. Ten times the merits was an attractive reward. Moreover, they had a lot of confidence in Long Haochen's abilities. However, Long Haochen didn't immediately agree, and he politely said, Senior, shouldn't we have the option to accept or decline this task? After all, you're a member of the Commander Level No. 8 Demon Hunting Squad. How can we, juniors, be a match for you? We wouldn't have a chance of winning any rewards for this task. Seeing Long Haochen's clear gaze, Lao Wu felt a bit ashamed in his heart, but the thought of advancing to a martial level demon hunting squad made him push aside that guilt and speak seriously. You can rest assured about this. The task tower won't assign tasks that are impossible to complete. Although I'm a member of the Commander Level No. 8 Demon Hunting Squad, I'm the weakest among our team members. My cultivation. Level is only at the fifth rank. I haven't advanced to the sixth rank yet. So you have a chance, and during the competition, I won't use weapons. Of course, you're free to decline this task. But there's only one opportunity, and it won't come again. Boss, if we challenge him, and he's only at the fifth rank, we still have a chance. Lin Sin whispered to Long Haochen. Lu Xi remained composed as he said. Excuse me, senior, how can you prove that you're at the fifth rank of cultivation? Do you have your stake with you? Lao Wu smiled faintly and replied. Of course I have it with me. However, according to the task rules, you need to wager at least a thousand merits. As your stake. If I win, that will be my reward for taking on this task. I won't bother for too few merits. During the competition, my fifth rank strength, and the merits wagered by both sides, can be certified by the Holy Alliance's Grand Trial Grounds. Then we can proceed with the match. You young people are indeed cautious, even fearing that I might deceive you? Lu Xi smiled slightly and said, Senior, don't misunderstand us. It's not easy for us to earn merits, so we need to be cautious. Let's discuss among ourselves, and then decide whether to accept this task or not. Is that okay? Lao Wu nodded and said, Of course, take your time. I'll be over there. If you've made up your minds, come find me. As he spoke, he turned and walked away gracefully, not lingering any longer. As Lao Wu left, Lin Sin immediately whispered excitedly to Long Haochen. Boss, this is a great opportunity, ten times the merits. If we stake everything we have, we could potentially earn millions of merits as a reward. Long Haochen replied in a slightly annoyed tone. Are you daydreaming? When does a windfall like that ever happen? Something felt off about that senior Lao Wu earlier. If it was a task assigned by the task tower, they should have sent task tower staff to inform us. But he came directly to us, and your imagination is unrealistic. He's a member of a commander-level demon hunting squad. If he had millions of merits, he would have used them to advance to a martial-level squad. Why would he bother with tasks? Hao Chen, you're indeed clever. This guy is here to deceive us for merits. Lu Xi said with a puzzled expression. Huh. Long Hao Chen looked at Lu Xi in confusion. Lu Xi whispered. It's a method that veteran demon hunting squads use to exploit newly formed squads. And the alliance doesn't intervene. They claim it enhances the vigilance of new squads. In truth, this trick isn't that sophisticated. But for newly experienced squads that have faced challenging missions and know the value of merits, the temptation of ten times the merits is just too great. Consequently, many new demon hunting squads fall for it. I have a senior relative who's also a member of a demon hunting squad, and they fell for this scam before. Linson said with wide eyes and an open mouth. It's actually a scam, aren't they afraid that we might expose them? Lu Xi shrugged his shoulders and said, What's the use of exposing them? It's better to turn the tables on them. That warrior's fifth rank isn't fake.